I'm Ilaria Maselli, Senior Economist at the Conference Board, and this is your Economic Watch Brief for Europe for the month of October. The euro area economy continues benefiting from a positive growth momentum. The six-month growth rate of the Conference Board Leading Economic Index shows a 4% increase from February to August, which puts the economy solidly in an expansionary mode. This vitality is particularly evident in small open economies, such as the Netherlands, Belgium and Austria. However, our analysis reveals that we should expect signs of moderation of this trend soon. The business cycle is beginning to mature and capacity constraint will soon kick in. Current growth rates in the euro area are indeed well above what we consider the trend growth in the long term of 1.4%. What does this mean for the labour market? Three issues stand out. One, employment in the second quarter of 2017 finally reached the previous peak which occurred in 2008. Today, 145 million people are at work in the euro area, of which 8 million are in jobs that have been created since the recovery began in 2013. Over the last decade, the working age population has shrunk, but at the same time, more people in this group are available to work. All in all, these figures describe a labour market that is in decent health, despite the structurally high unemployment rate of 9.1%. Second, companies are hiring vigorously, especially in countries like Czechia, Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands and Austria. However, in the euro area, the match between unemployed workers and open jobs seems worse compared to the period before the financial crisis. As a result, the quest for talent is likely to become more difficult and it will take longer for European firms to find their workers. Third, while wage growth is still muted in the euro area as a whole, there are interesting differences among countries. In Western Europe, the annual growth in nominal wages has remained well below 2%. In Eastern European countries instead, the annual growth in nominal wages has been at least 4% since the start of this recovery. This faster growth in labour cost arises because of higher inflation rates in the Baltic countries, very low unemployment in Czechia, new legislation in Hungary and an ongoing catching up with the productivity levels of mature economies. I'm Ilaria Maselli and this was your Economic Watch Brief for Europe.